would like to give you some practical tips for the beginner decoy. So some things we're going to talk about is targeting, how to get the dog to bite where you want them to bite, grip, how to get a full bite on the sleeve or the suit, uh, how to keep the dog engaged, and some other things, okay? So first we're going to talk about the decoy dance, okay? Who likes to dance? The decoy dance is to get the dogs hyped up, okay? Some dogs, they need extra motivation. So we're going to be doing a little dance. We're going to dance, be dancing in circles, okay? Um, just to keep movement going. And the dog is probably going to be on a back tie, which means he's going to be strained, restrained. He only can go to a certain point. He might be like nipping right here. And then when you decide you want to let the dog bite, you're going to go in and let him get the bite. And then you're going to swing him, okay? A little bit to keep him engaged. So you're going to be fighting the dog. And yeah, so the decoy dance is the first thing. Targeting, make sure it's clear. You don't want to be like out like this. Here, dog, bite it, because he's going to bite the shoulder or the elbow. That's not good. You don't want him to bite there. You don't want him to bite here. You don't want to be going like this and then stick it out and the dog grabs right here. That's not a good full bite. And that's not where you want him to bite, okay? You want him to bite in the middle. And then, so that's targeting, teaching the dog where to bite. So it has to do with how you present it, okay? Um, you don't want to like bend over and give it to him like that, but make sure that's the farthest thing sticking out when you go around his sleeve, okay? So grip. What does grip have to do with? It has to do with a full bite. So, you don't want a dog going in for a partial bite like this. You don't want something like that. You want a full bite where all the teeth are on the sleeve and pulling hard, okay? So that's what we mean by grip. <clears throat> so, as a decoy, you encourage that by <clears throat> making sure um, you give them the sleeve and you fight with them. You reward by fighting, playing with them as the grip is good, okay? If the grip's shallow, you might hold still or go in a little bit, let them re-grip. We call that countering. That's the word you're gonna need to know. So you might be fighting the dog, it's a shallow bite, and you kind of let, let him get another bite by not fighting as hard. Let him get another bite, which is called a counter. We counter it, that's the term you know, counter it and he'll get a bigger, fuller grip. So that's countering. And then another thing, a lot of times we're gonna let the dog win. After we've been fighting with them, sometimes we're just gonna slip the sleeve. We're gonna let it fall off our arm, let them take it. That's what it's called. When we say, slip the sleeve. When someone says, slip the sleeve, you're gonna let the dog take it and run away with it. He basically won, and that's a, that's a good thing to do occasionally. So slip the sleeve, that's the second term you're going to need to know. Um, what else do we have? Realism, you're going to want to be real, realistic. Um, for puppies, you don't want to do that so much, but as dogs get more mature, they can handle more stressors. So, yelling, ah! Okay, that sounds really dumb, but yelling, like it actually hurts. Uh, screaming, hitting the sleeve. You have to be careful not to stick your feet out so the dog will chew on your feet because whatever sticks out the most, they'll probably go after the bite. So be realistic as much as you can, be safe. Staring at them in the eyes is very intimidating, like it could potentially be. So things like that, that is called defense. Defense drive. When you are putting stressors on them, they think they're gonna die, okay? That's defense. But you need to also do prey, do the fun stuff. That's prey is Fun, not stressful. Defense is very stressful. So, prey would be like fighting back and forth, not really looking at them in the eyes, easy going. Defense would be staring at them in the eyes, being super intimidating, yelling at them. So you go, you wanna switch between the drives, prey and defense. Start out fun maybe, put some pressure on them, hitting them with stuff, a clatter stick, a whip, shaking some rocks in a bottle or something. That's defense and then going back to prey to let them know they've won, okay? You wanna make them think they whooped your butt, okay? 
Um, so that means adding some stressors and then making it fun. So prey and defense, it's really important to switch between those. Another thing is a swing. When you get to more advanced decoying, you're gonna have a dog charging at you. You're gonna not, a, not just stand like a brick wall and have him hit, because that could hurt his spine majorly. You could very much damage a dog by not swinging with it. So instead, you're gonna be like this, and you're gonna swing the dog, okay? Rather than him hitting really hard, hurting himself, you're gonna swing with him. Um, and when we go to doing sendaways, I'll, I'll get to show you. Maybe I'll put a video on for you. But you want your, like this is a right sleeve, you want your right foot to land at the same time that the dog is biting at the sleeve. So right foot with, with the dog as he's biting your sleeve, and then you swing. It kind of helps you keep your balance too. So the swing is very important, especially if you're standing still and the dog just runs right into you. That's, that's really bad for him. So make sure to work on the swing. Keep that in mind. Uh, I think, oh, if a dog disengages, he lets go, you wanna make sure to get fun again and uh, active and take off the other direction. Like some dogs that aren't super confident or they're puppies, they're gonna possibly be fighting for a little bit, let go, and then you're gonna take off the other direction, okay? So you're like, hey, if you're gonna let go, I am taking off. And then they'll probably chase after you and get you. But you gotta make sure you keep, as a decoy, you keep uh, your eyes peeled for uh, when they're about to let go, disengage, make it more fun. If they do let go, take off the other direction. They're gonna lose their toy, their reward, because they were wimpy and let go, okay? So re-engaging is important, the swing's important, prey and defense, grip, targeting, and then the dance. I think we covered it all. Hopefully this helps you. Happy decoying.